So hello, welcome to this lightning talk on user experience for APIs. It's not just about pixels. My name is John Parello. I'm a principal engineer and the emerging technologies and incubation group here at Cisco. And I lead the engineering for Cisco's innovation labs. Um, I've been at Cisco for quite some time and I've been working on um, different projects from network management to telephony and wireless. And right now I get to work with the emerging technologies group and our labs around the world working on fun and new exciting projects. And one of the things that we work with all the time are APIs. And if you're using DevNet, you know that APIs are the workhorse of what we're using. And I wanna to talk to you about user interfaces. Most people think the user interface is about, oh, that's the graphics, that's the browser, that's how I, I interact with your product. But there's a user interface in everything from a library to a browser to even things around you. And We've taken a, a way of evaluating APIs before we use them to kind of see the maturity of it. And we didn't want to get too scientific and too uh, method methodological about it and say, hey, what is, what is the sophistication of an API? So I kind of boiled it down to a simple way that I think would be valuable for you all to judge the APIs that we produce and judge maybe the APIs that you're producing as well. So let's think about when you want to learn something brand new. Let's just say you want to learn rock climbing and you're hanging around and you see somebody there and they say, hmm, I, that person can really rock climb. And you're going to go over to them and say, can I learn from you? And they're like, well, I know how to do it. Why don't you hang out with us? And after a while, you start hanging around with, with rock climbers and maybe you get into the, the group and you start to learn about it. That's where you're saying, hey, I'm going to work in, with the group. But at the end of the day, sometimes you want to come in and say, you know what? I need to learn rock climbing. I want to learn from somebody who's willing to teach me, somebody who's going to say, here, you can do it. So that's the evolution of what we've been looking at. I can do it. I can rock climb. We could rock climb. You can rock climb. And that's the same way that we start to judge and create APIs. I could do it. We can do it. Here, you can do it. And interestingly enough, in emerging technologies, we find that technologies take that path as, as well. If you look at the airplane, uh, you know, if, if way back when it first started, if you talk to somebody and say, can you fly? Well, the Wright brothers would say, yeah, I could do it. But you would really need to know them. You'd have to know everything about it. You'd have to know where they were gonna launch. Hey, there's a special control over here that we have to kick and I have to duct tape this one together and make it work. You have to know the person when the API, when the interface to something is at the level of, I can do it. But eventually, people form groups, they perform interest, they, get, they create interest groups where they get together and say, hey, you know what, we can do it. We can get together, you can get to know that team and you can, you can work with them when they're at the level of, we can do it. The third level of sophistication is like today. Hey, if you wanna fly, you can fly, anybody can fly, we can, you can do it. You can go off and you can say, hey, I'm gonna get on an airplane and you can fly. That's the same way we look at creating APIs. The second that you can look at something and say, hmm, I'm going to try to find the root cause of an event on my network, and I'm going to do it. Hey, I can do it. I'm going to make an interface for somebody maybe, but I'm still all about myself. I can do it. Eventually, your teams are going to come around and say, hey, we can do this. We can get together. Maybe we can make a product out of it. We can work together. We can figure out a root cause of something or an event, or we can upgrade devices or we can find out the performance of devices, we can do it, let's use that API. But the real sophistication comes down to when you're willing to teach it, when you're gonna say, hey, you can do it. Here, I've got this ready and anybody can do it, you can do it. And that's the sophistication of how we wanna take APIs when we're working with DevNet. So I came up with a quotient here, I call APIQ. Um, a lot of people talk about IQ, how smart you are, or EQ, how emotionally intelligent you are. Well, I'm, I'm trying to coin a phrase here where we're saying your API quotient. Is the API that you're looking at at the level of, I can do it. And if you're at that level, that means you're an early adopter and you kind of have to know the developer when you want to work with that. I can do it, I'm going to be early adopter. When the API gets to the sophistication of we can do it, you're gonna know the team, you're probably gonna know the customer, maybe even for things that we do in emerging technologies, you're gonna be a co-developer or co-designer of that. You're gonna help us design it, help us work with the early adopter. When you get to the sophistication of 
Anyone can do it here. You can do it. You can take the API. They're going to be able to teach this. You can come in anonymously. And really all you're going to know is the institution that you're working with and not really know the people on a, on a comfortable level. So think about the APIs that you create. Are you trying to make it so that you can do it, so that you and your team can do it, or anybody can do it, where you're going to advertise you can do it? And think about it when you're consuming it. Did this person just able to do it for themselves and they just released it? Is it a team of people that release it or are they trying to release it out to everyone? And then there's the next step. Once you get to that sophistication and you've got all of them in there, you're going to think about security. And that's something that we're looking at right now at Cisco. We want to be clear about the APIs and say, not only can you do it, who should be doing it? When should they do it? Are they allowed to do it? Is it appropriate to do this? And that's the next level of what we're trying to do. We're going to get really clear on our API clarity for that. So thank you very much for the lightning talk. I hope this helps you judge the APIs that we create and the ones that you create and have a great time at uh, DevNet Create. Thank you so much.